What's going on everybody? It's Dean Duster back again for the first time in quite a while. I've been taking a little break from YouTube, having some stuff going on in my personal life. But I'm here at White River Reservoir, ready to do some crappie fishing today. It's early in the morning, it's cold, it's about 38 degrees or so. Uh, middle of April, so we're kind of waiting on the waters to warm up a little bit to get into full spawn mode. But I'm going to be right on that dock for a while in this video, see if we can get some good crappie off of it. I got some good ones the other day, so I'm going to be joined by my buddy Justin. He's not here yet. He's on his way, so we should make a good video for today. Y'all come along with me. Let's go try to find these crappie and let's go rip some lips. Went out fishing yesterday at Buffalo. Tried to do a video. I actually caught some fish, but just didn't feel like it would have been a good enough video. So we're here now. Hopefully gonna find some crappie. I got a couple rods with me. I got my backpack on, got a little basket. Definitely gonna try and take some crappie home. We'll see if it works out that way or not. So it just broke off, so I'm switching to this. It's a 1 16th ounce eagle claw, black painted jig head uh, with a Bobby Garland. I believe this is the Midnight Minnow. <laughs> There's Justin. You see him driving on the dam up there. Beautiful scenery this morning. Very calm morning. Jigs down. Dang, that didn't take long with two jigs. Get back down there. So on Bobby Garland Monkey Milk. I'm working this one on a five foot rod or six pound, uh, I believe that's Vicious Line. Six pound Vicious Hive is. I believe is what I'm working on in this one. want to stick with the six pound as much as I can just because there's a lot of snags off this dock. There's a fish. Oh yeah, that's crappie too. Light bite. That's a keeper. There we go. I didn't even feel the bite, I just felt pressure. Stop it, buddy. Right in the top of the mouth. Back it out, there we go. Oh, there's a little keeper crappie right there. A little mini slab. Get over here, let's put them in the checker. This is just and stuff, but I'm gonna use this checker. Slide and checker. Um, he is 10. Not by a whole lot, but he's 10, so we'll keep him. It's one fish in the basket. Get him back down there. Make sure that Justin sees his easy checkers wet. <laughs> Let him know that I can catch a fish, boy. But we finally produced the first bite here. Took a little bit.
but we got one, one on the board. So that's always a good thing. Been here about 30 minutes as so the first bite. So we're 100% on hook sets. <laughs> even though I didn't even feel that bite, it was extremely light. There's a fish. Second fish off that same pile. Second. Fires on your bag. Yeah, your easy checker's wet. You thumping good? Or? Oh, yeah. He ain't 10, but uh, it's a fish. Get him back. Uh, both of them came out of the same spot. Right there where you're at. That I just took Yeah. Get a couple on the monkey metal. And the bite stops. I'm gonna see if they want something bright. So I got that big heavy jacket off, got me a water. Set up pretty good now. That boat coming over here in this cold. But Justin caught one over there in the coach on the left. He was casting and retrieving. I think he hit one on a bed. don't necessarily think that that means good things for us. I think that means that these fish are extremely scattered. That's gonna be kind of hard to find. I know that there's at least a couple underneath this dock, so. I'm gonna stick here. Justin's actually out poking around, seeing if he can find some on a different pattern, so. If he does, we'll go change up pattern, but for right now, I know where a couple fish are. So I'm going to fish them just for a minute. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, baby. Third on the day. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down, bub. Third on the day. This is a quality crappie. I don't think he's going to keep. Oh, he's got some junk on him. He ain't. Yeah, he's close. Justin's got a easy checker up here. I'm going to definitely say he's about nine and a half. So I'm going to get him back. Well, that's three. Got one keeper, two undersized. I've had four bites on it. Not feeling horrible, but not what I thought it was going to be when I came out here. There's, they're, they're not, they're not piled up right here like they were. I mean, maybe later in the day. Right. There's a fish. Good one too. Right on top of that brush fly? Yep. That's fish number four. That's the best one of the day. Get this hook out of them. My pliers. Not huge, but. Steps. That's why I bought these things. 
crappie like this. Just how much easier it is with them forceps, man. If you're a crappie fisherman, let me tell you, you need to get quarters close to so he will definitely be going in the basket knew he was a keeper Still a pretty good fish right he there. He felt way bigger. He hammered it. Felt like that donkey you got the last time. Keeper. So that is a keeper. Ah, uh, that that wouldn't be a female full of eggs, guys. I, yeah. I do believe. Yeah, she's got a belly. She looks short. I throw her back. Even if she is right at 10, I'd rather her go back anyway. Oh, yeah, especially if she's full of eggs. Selective harvesting. Thumb. Oh, that's good. That's cracking. Yeah. That's no eggs now. See if it's 10 or not. We're starting to figure them out today. They're starting to bite a little more. Another one in the basket. Five decent crappie now. Is that why you said you gotta be kidding me? Pretty good size crappie. You ain't even gotta check him. We know he's good. Boom, he's in the basket. Pretty good brush pile that we're fishing on top of. And it's holding a lot of crappie right now. Oh, I saw that, though, baby. And 
another fish. You need to chill, homie. Oh, you just put the hook in my finger. Definitely ain't a keeper. He's short, but aggressive bite, positive bite. That's always a good thing. A minute, you know. Yeah. Oh, baby. It's hard to leave this though. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Another crappie for us today. I don't even know how many I've caught now. We're on a pretty decent. He's too small, but fish. Can't get mad when you're catching fish. Nope. Yeah. But I ain't stupid enough to not use something that's gonna work. They, they definitely have a time and a place. There's another one right when I'm dropping back in. Justin over here talking about taking a break because of the wind. It's cold, but we're hammering fish. Don't keep that away. There's great A fish care. But he made it back in the water. He'll survive. Easy checker in the water. After a much needed snack break <laughs> from the floating sea dock, it feels like. Get motion sickness out here. Oh, there we go, right off bottom. Oh, this is a good one, too. He choked the crap out of it. He is not happy. I'm gonna have to go get my forceps for that one. He has choked it. That's a good little keeper. Yeah, pretty close. He's bleeding. Um, but he's gonna go home with me anyway, so no big deal. No, male and his uh, fins are pretty tore up too. Uh, 
that's how you do it right there. Oh, that's a good one too. Fish. Yeah. Go. She got eggs, so we're gonna let her go. That is a female full eggs. Put your stomach on that thing. Let her go finish her thing. In a couple of years, we'll catch her babies. Hey man, are they shallow? <laughs> no, but they're on this brush pile. <laughs> are they? Uh, I'll fold the one off the side of it. Crazy deep, but it's deep it's enough deep for us. Yeah, that's deep enough to hold fish. my crappie nibble what's up with it <laughs> he's probably nine and a half another crappie on the day though did you get that that's where they are Mm -hmm. Okay, break my rod real quick. Another little crappie. If we're at Buffalo, this would be huge. Definitely not a keeper. The male is. Fifteen. <laughs> There's a fish. Oh my gosh. Okay. We got lake records. <laughs> lake we records. got a lake record. Oh, call the warden. Oh, you little spiny sucker. There you go. Get the warden on the phone. I got to enter this record. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Caught a couple pretty good ones. Justin's back there digging into his cooler for snacks. Uh, got a like ten keepers. Got them right here in the ice chest. Got them ice down. Get home, make dinner with them. Out here, White River produced a couple good ones. Got one really good one off camera in the crappie house. Of course, that's the one big one I caught was off camera, but. That'll probably do it for today's video, guys. I'll catch y'all next time, and I'm out. Peace. What you know about rolling down in the deep? When your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, what you know?